Welcome to our children's Christmas program. What a joy it is every year to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus, even if we do it in a little different kind of way this year. As you watch, I invite you to worship and celebrate and sing with us. Marvel at the account of Jesus' birth as the children share it. Praise our God from whom all blessings flow. And may our hearts be filled with the good news so that with the children we go and tell everyone that Jesus Christ is born. In the name of the Father, who so loved the world that he sent his only Son, in the name of the Son, who came to our world to bring us life, in the name of the Holy Spirit, whose presence brings us life and light, in the name of our triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to our God be glory and praise, both now and forevermore. Amen. We gather today to worship the Christ child. As we consider the birth of our Savior, we see our great need for him. When we examine our lives according to God's perfect law, we recognize how we have sinned against both God and one another. Lord Jesus, you became a child for us. We could not obey the Father's law perfectly, so you obeyed it perfectly for us. We are sorry for our sins. Please forgive us so that we can have peace with the Father and life with you forever. In Jesus Christ, God the Father has forgiven you. Therefore, as a called and ordained servant of the word, I announce God's grace and forgiveness to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God created a perfect world. He made sun, moon, land, animals, and the crown of his creation, man. But God's perfect world did not remain perfect. Through the sin of Adam and Eve, man was separated from God, but God made a promise to bring his people close to him once more. God promised to send a savior he would be the many, 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 many great-grandson of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and King David. He would be the one of whom God promised to David, I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Centuries after David lived, God fulfilled his promise in Jesus. Luke 1, 26 to 33. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledge to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you will give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Oh, who is this the promised child? A baby boy for Mary Mild. The son would be a special king, 
So shout, shout and let your praises ring! God's people waited for his promise of a savior to be fulfilled. For thousands of years, they watched and waited. Then one quiet night, God's promise came true. The creator of the universe came down and joined his creation so that we could be joined again with him. Who is this child? Jesus, son of Mary, one of us. Who is this child? Jesus, Emmanuel. God with us. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be made or taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
restore. The Lamb of God resting here tonight to free us all from our sinful strife. Why did he come to earth to dwell, to get a gift of love and news to tell? He came to give his very life to save us from our sinful strife. It was a night like any other night for the shepherds, until the angels came, lighting the shepherds' hearts on fire and filling them with joy. They hurried to Bethlehem to see this wonder, the promised child wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. But this was no ordinary child. This was the savior of the world. As they worshiped him, they were filled with joy, joy they couldn't keep to themselves. There is joy in our hearts, too, for we know that the shepherd's Savior is also our Savior. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will, find, you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace be to men, with whom his favor rests. After the, after the angel had gone, the shepherds went, said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem and see this wonderful thing that has happened that the Lord has told us about.
So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. heaven above his majesty came down to earth a holy child a lowly birth now jesus reigns above below within our hearts where we go all nations bow and come adore our savior rules forevermore A star appeared when Jesus was born, and with that star, God led wise men from the east to the Savior King. Like the wise men, God has led us to Jesus. Who is this child? He is the only hope of the world. He is our hope. In him, we find forgiveness and peace. In him, we have eternal life. Jesus is our hope and our sure foundation. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Matthew 2, verses 1 through 12. 
After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied. For this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Ju Judah. For out of you a ruler will come who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. The wise men traveled from afar, following the Christmas star. When it stopped, they jumped for joy and worshipped baby Jesus boy. When they stepped for What child is this? A babe is born, an infant in a stall forlorn. Who can this son of promise be? We marvel at the mystery. What child is this? He came as king. The nations shout, his praises ring. What child is this? He came to die. Forgiven, we can live on high. What child is this? He came in love. One day, he'll bring us home above. What child is this? Oh, go and tell. Christ Jesus is Emmanuel. We pray. Father in heaven, you sent your son, a special child. As our king, may he rule in our hearts. As our redeemer, may the word made flesh ever guide us. As our loving savior, May he bring us to you on the last day. What child is this? He is your son. In his name we pray. Amen. Together we pray the prayer our Lord himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. Amen.